It's amazing, isn't it? We think we've got a handle on the past, like we've pretty much figured out the ancient world, and then, bam, something comes along that just totally flips the script. Yeah, that's the beauty of archaeology, right? Always a chance for something incredible to shake up what we thought we knew. And today's discovery, well, it's definitely a head spinner. Uh, we're talking about the Great Pyramid of Giza, already one of the most fascinating structures on Earth. And now they found something absolutely massive hidden beneath it. A 600-meter spiral, can you believe that? It's pretty mind-blowing, gotta admit. I mean, the Great Pyramid has always been a symbol of, well, human ingenuity and ancient knowledge. And now we're finding out there's this whole other layer to it, literally hidden for thousands of years exactly and that's what we're diving into today this mysterious spiral mm. how do they even find it what could it possibly be for and why is everyone so worked up about it so buckle up get ready for a deep dive into some serious archaeological intrigue sounds like a plan i've got my metaphorical scuba gear ready perfect because we're going deep so first things first how do you even begin to find something like this a giant spiral buried beneath one of the most heavily studied monuments in history. It's not like they just stumbled across an entrance while dusting off some old stones, right? No, no, definitely not Indiana Jones stuff here. This was high-tech detective work at its finest. Think cutting-edge imaging technology, sonar scanning, ground-penetrating radar GPR for you techies out there. Basically, they're sending signals into the ground and seeing how they bounce back. Kind of like an x-ray, but for the Earth itself. So they're getting a glimpse beneath the surface, a map of what's hidden down there. Exactly. And initially, they saw these strange anomalies, these readings that just didn't fit the normal geological patterns. You might think, okay, maybe just some weird rock formations, natural stuff, right? Right. Easy to dismiss at first. But the thing is, these anomalies were consistent, and they formed a very clear pattern, a spiral. And to seal the deal, it wasn't just one team seeing this multiple independent research groups from different countries all using their own equipment they all got the same results that's when you know it's the real deal you know not just some glitch in the data yeah that independent verification that's the gold standard in science for sure okay so we know there's something there but let's paint a picture for our listeners what does this spiral actually look like 600 meters that's like what Six football fields long, it's gonna be huge. It's massive, yeah. Imagine a corridor, like a ramp, but instead of going straight, it just keeps curving, spiraling downwards. So it's not just a big circle, it's this continuous descending helix. And it's big enough, you know, to walk through, potentially. We're not talking about some tiny little tunnel here. So we've got this enormous spiral deep beneath the Great Pyramid. The next big question, of course, is why? What could it possibly be for? And there's no shortage of theories out there, are there? Oh, definitely not. Everyone's got an idea. And some of them are pretty wild. Let's just start with what might seem like the most obvious possibility. I mean, the, the pyramid itself is a tomb, right? So could this spiral lead to another hidden burial chamber? Yeah, that's a very natural first thought. Given what we know about the ancient Egyptians and their elaborate beliefs about the afterlife, they were all about preparing for the journey to the next world, right? And maybe the spiral was part of that. Maybe it leads to a secret chamber, even more secure and hidden than the ones we already know about. A final resting place for the pharaoh, or maybe for some incredibly valuable treasures. For the ultimate hidden treasure, that would be yeah, something. Right. It would certainly explain the secrecy, the effort to conceal it so well. Or it could have been used for rituals. We know they had all these complex ceremonies and practices surrounding death and the afterlife. Maybe the spiral was part of that. Maybe the priests used it for some kind of symbolic descent or ascent representing the soul's journey. So adding a whole other layer of mystery to the already mysterious pyramids. But there's another theory that's really fascinating. The idea that the spiral might actually be a construction ramp. And this one ties into some earlier research by Jean-Pierre Houdin, right? Yeah, Houdin had this theory that the pyramids weren't built solely using external ramps, like we always thought. He proposed that they must have used internal ramps as well to lift those giant stone blocks higher and higher as the pyramid grew. And this new discovery, well, it fits in really nicely with that idea. Maybe this spiral wasn't meant to be a permanent feature, but more like a giant internal scaffolding system. It would have allowed them to move those incredibly heavy stones up in a more gradual and efficient way. It's kind of mind-boggling to think of them creating something on this scale just for the construction process. Right. But it would make sense. I mean, we're talking about moving millions of tons of stone. They needed some serious engineering ingenuity to pull that off. 
And the idea of an internal spiral ramp, well, it could solve a lot of the logistical puzzles about how they did it. So maybe it wasn't a tomb or a ritual space at all, but a tool for building the pyramid itself. That's a pretty big shift in our understanding. It is, and that's what makes this discovery so exciting. It's forcing us to re-examine what we thought we knew about ancient technology. But it gets even wilder. Are you ready for a real head trip? Hit me with it. Our listeners are along for the ride. They can handle it. Okay, so here's where things get really interesting. There's a theory out there that this spiral wasn't just a ramp, but an energy conducting structure, like something built to harness or channel some kind of natural energy. Whoa, okay, that's next level. Right. Now, this is definitely a more speculative theory, and it does push the boundaries of what we currently think was possible for the ancient Egyptians. But if it's true, it would completely change our understanding of their scientific capabilities. I mean, we'd have to rethink everything. We wouldn't just be talking about a different building technique. We'd be looking at a level of knowledge that we didn't even think they possessed. It's almost like something out of science fiction, ancient Egyptians manipulating energy fields. Yeah, but hey, maybe you've been underestimating them all along. Maybe they knew a lot more about the natural world than we give them credit for. It's a tantalizing thought for sure. And then there's another theory that really resonates, given what we know about the ancient Egyptians. The idea that the spiral might have had a symbolic or astronomical connection. They were obsessed with the stars, right? Oh, absolutely. The stars were central to their entire worldview, their calendar, their religion, their understanding of the cosmos. It was all tied to the movements of the celestial bodies. And the pyramids themselves are aligned with incredible precision to the cardinal directions and certain stars. So it's not a stretch at all to think that this spiral might also have some kind of astronomical significance. So we have a lot of intriguing possibilities here, but before we get too carried away, let's talk about the evidence. What concrete proof do we have, beyond the initial imaging, that this spiral actually exists? Well, as I mentioned earlier, we have multiple independent confirmations from different research teams using different imaging technologies. That's pretty solid evidence right there. And it's not just the shape of the spiral, it's also the geological data. They've done surveys of the soil and rock around the area, and they've found evidence that suggests this isn't just a natural formation. It looks like it was intentionally created. Okay, so the data seems to back it up. But if this was such a huge and important structure, wouldn't there be some mention of it in ancient texts? Some hieroglyphs describing this amazing spiral deep beneath the pyramid. You'd think so, right? But so far, there's no smoking gun in the written record. Which is interesting, right? Why go to all the trouble of creating this massive thing and then not even mention it? Of course, it's possible that there are texts out there that we haven't discovered yet. Or maybe the knowledge was passed down orally, kept secret by a select few. It's a mystery within a mystery. But even without explicit written accounts, there are hints. There are ancient texts that talk about hidden chambers and secret passages within the pyramids. And if those existed, why not a spiral? Exactly. It's all adding up to a pretty compelling picture. And, you know, the fact that the similar spiral structures have been found in other ancient sites around the world, that adds another layer of intrigue. It does. It suggests that this wasn't some unique, isolated thing. Maybe there was a shared knowledge or a common purpose behind these spirals that we're just starting to uncover. It really makes you wonder what else might be out there, hidden beneath the sands of time. And that's the beauty of archaeology, right? Always the potential for new discoveries to rewrite history. But of course, with any big discovery, there's bound to be some debate, some pushback. Mm. What are the main challenges or criticisms that have been raised about this spiral finding? There's got to be some skeptics out there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that's healthy, right? Skepticism is a good thing in science. It forces us to be rigorous and to constantly test our assumptions. One of the main arguments against the spiral is that the imaging data, while suggestive, could be misinterpreted. Some people say that what looks like a spiral could just be natural variations in the rock, maybe some kind of geological fault. They argue that until we actually get down there and physically examine the structure, we can't be sure what it is. So the call for more evidence, more investigation, it's completely understandable. Yeah. And then there's the issue of access. Right now, the Egyptian authorities are very protective of the pyramids, and understandably so. They don't want to allow any kind of excavation that could damage these incredible monuments. So getting permission to actually go down there and explore the spiral directly, well, that's going to be a major challenge. But even beyond the practicalities, there's a kind of intellectual resistance as well. I mean, if this spiral really is a construction ramp, it means that a lot of what we thought we knew about how the pyramids were built 
is wrong. And that's hard for some people to accept. It challenges their whole understanding of the past. It's a paradigm shift, and those are never easy. So given these challenges, what are the next steps? What needs to happen for us to really understand what this spiral is all about? Well, first and foremost, we need more data. And that means more advanced imaging. The technology is always improving, so hopefully we'll be able to get even clearer and more detailed pictures of the spiral, maybe even see what's inside it. And there's also the possibility of minimally invasive techniques. They could do some careful core drilling, taking tiny samples of the material from the spiral itself. That would give us a lot of information about its composition, age, maybe even some clues about its purpose. And then, of course, there's the human element. We need more collaboration, more experts from different fields working together. Archaeologists, geologists, engineers, physicists, everyone bringing their unique perspective to the table. And we need to compare this finding to other ancient sites. Are there any similar spirals out there? What can we learn from them? There are so many exciting avenues to explore. So lots of work ahead, but the potential payoff is huge. We could be on the verge of unlocking some incredible secrets about the ancient world, about the true capabilities of the ancient Egyptians. It's definitely a time of great excitement and anticipation in the field. Well, for our listeners out there who are now hopefully as intrigued by this discovery as we are, here's the key takeaway. We've got this massive, mysterious spiral 600 meters long, hidden deep beneath the Great Pyramid. What is it? A tomb, a construction yeah. ramp, an energy conductor, a cosmic symbol. We don't know for sure yet, but it has the potential to completely change our understanding of one of the most iconic structures on Earth. It's a reminder that even in the 21st century, the past can still surprise us. Absolutely. And it underscores just how much we still have to learn about the ancient world, about the ingenuity and the knowledge of those who came before us. And on that note, here's a question for you to ponder. Of all the theories we've discussed, which one resonates most with you? What does this discovery tell us about the ancient Egyptians, about their priorities, their beliefs, their understanding of the world? What other mysteries might still be out there waiting to be uncovered? Keep those questions in mind as you go about your day, and who knows, maybe you'll be the one to make the next big discovery. That's it for our Deep Dive today. Thanks for listening, and we'll catch you next time for another journey into the fascinating world of history.